Hey everyone, Nick Narzinski here with D3 Technologies for our HSM camp dev. So today we're going to take a look at some of the updates that the development team has done and are implemented for Tarny. So here I have a Tarny setup in Inventor HSM. And first thing I want to look at is in profiling with all three packages, that's Fusion, Inventor HSM, and HSM Works for SolidWorks, we now have the ability to set our grooving radial or axially, axially or nothing at all. So let's take a look at that. First thing I'm going to do is select the tool here. And where is that? And then if we just say OK the way it is by default, you'll notice it tries to cut what it can based off of the angle of that holder. So here we see it coming down behind this edge as well as coming down for the face groove for that part. So now we have the ability to define where we want that cutter to go for profiling. So if we just say allow radial only you'll notice it comes down in front but no law or comes down in the back here but no longer in the front similarly if i do axial now we come down in the front but no longer in the back on the radial part and then also you have the ability to do neither which in turn gives you neither of those that's what both and then with none. So we also see that it comes on the front of the part. You probably would have faced that off already. We also have the ability now parametrically to define where we want to confine that tool path. So in the past, we just had a confine tab here. You had to actually select edges. Now we can actually go off of different geometry of the part or your stock. So here we have it set to stock front. I can change that to model front and it'll automatically recognize the front of that model to the back of that model. Maybe I only want to go to this edge. You can also change that to selection and just select an edge or some type of geometry to confine that back end. So now we say OK, and you can see it's only going to machine between those two uh, boundaries. So like I said, that is available with inside of Fusion here. You can find that on the geometry or the tool tab. for grooving right here and also inside of HSM works we can see it on the passes tab so it is a little bit different in HSM works but you can see there it is available on the passes tab for SolidWorks. Now currently this is only in development version for Inventor HSM and HSM works on the confinement being parametric but you can find that and it should be released in the R2 version coming out here soon. So to get those, you can go to cam.august.com, products, go to your downloads, and then down at the bottom there, you can see the development versions, both for HSM Works or Inventor HSM. And you just click on that, and then you can download that development version. Hope this helps. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and I'll see you next time.